I'm so excited. I had to just um, break in and do another planner video again. And um, I'm not even going to uh, show you my face because I'm going to be honest. I'm still in my pajamas and I just was able to get my kids to run down to the corner store real quick so I could do this quick video. So I've shown you my planner inserts that I've used in the past. These are just um, by Staples as you can see here. Um, these are the M by Staples planning pages, and these these are adequate. I mean, there there's nothing horrendously wrong with them. Um, I actually like that they're gray because then I can do whatever I need to do with them. I write in colored pens, so that you know is not a problem for me. Um, but for the last six months or so, I have been watching um, very carefully videos on YouTube about. Um, DIY fish inserts and specifically I have been watching um, Carrie Harling's videos um, dispatches from the frat house I really recommend that you watch her especially if you are um, into planners she's amazing um, and so she talks a lot about DIY fish inserts and the problem is um, I kind of was afraid to spend the money on them and I was kind of afraid to really commit because um, it is it is a commitment and um, you know you have to print them out you have to align them just right and blah 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 and um, really I was afraid to commit to that and I was really afraid uh, because they are there's a lot of pages and I've talked before that I don't like to have to flip a lot I don't like to um, have to go back and forth to different you know sections in my in my arc planner um, to try to find things, you know, but that was the problem I was having with these inserts, you know, I have the month tabs um, And then I had a week section. There was no day section It was just month and week and I was finding I was using the week section all the time But I was very rarely using the month section. I had my dot system and I was going back um, And I was you know doing dots and stuff. Let me see if I can find one here so this kind of shows you a little about like my dots you know um, I was trying this month in particular I was writing D's on the nights that I actually cooked dinner at home because I'm trying to do that more often um, so anyway but I was finding that I was using the weeks more than I was using the months but I like the months the month view so that I can keep track of certain things um, but I wasn't utilizing it as much um, as I could have. So um, that's why I was attracted to the DIY fish ones. And I'm really excited about it because it has everything all in one layout. Now it has, this is the um, life mapping version 2.1, I believe. There is another one that she's just released. You can also get the one um, that starts in July and goes the rest of the year. But I couldn't wait, so I just went ahead and got the whole thing. And um, you'll see way more videos that are a lot more explanatory about it, but um, and they're a lot better at explaining how DIY fish works. But um, I just wanted to share with you because I've been sharing with you a lot of my planner journey, everything that I've been using, and it's been a couple of months since I last posted, so I just wanted to show you how I've changed it up yet again. And um, so this is the month view. There is this side to it where you can see, um, you know, you can keep track of different things. It's got all the dates up at the top. And then you flip it over and it's got your calendar. And the weeks run um, vertically. The calendar, you can flip it this way and it's more traditional. So you've got your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But this way you see all of your Mondays, all of your Tuesdays, all of your Wednesdays. So it goes, it, it's kind of flipped that way, but it's that way for a reason because um, you also have all this awesome writing space, which I love. Um, and I'm just going to flip to today. So today is the 23rd. So here's my month. Here's my week, which I haven't filled in yet, but this is where... Um, 
you know what, I'm just going to show you last week's. This is my week. I listed my weekly um, chores, things that I need to get done this week. And then on this side, I list did my meals for the week. And you have all of this space here for writing. I started to do a food journal. Um, I probably won't be doing that every day, as you can see. Um, I didn't even finish out the week, but you know, I'm kind of experimenting still with what I want to do with all of this weekly space. Um, but then you have, um, this was yesterday, um, you have your day. And I have the day on two pages, which gives you tons of space to write um, your, you know, if you want to write your to-do list, if you want to track your water. Um, a lot of people draw in this area or print out stickers. I've been doing, um, just writing in the daily Bible verse that's on the Version Bible app. Um, and then this is the schedule for the day. It, it lists all the hours that run from 1 a.m., to midnight so you have the entire day here in half hour increments as you can see um, so you've got you know the dots represent the half hour mark then you have all this extra space here um, a lot of people who are better at decorating than I am have done beautiful things with washi tape they've split this up into sections or cross sections or whatever um, for me, I'm using it to keep track of things. I've done it on other week, other days where I've got deadlines or I have lists of things that I need to be purchasing or whatever. That's, I'm still kind of experimenting with what I want to do with this, but I love the layout. And so I finally just bit the bullet and I committed to getting this because instead of seeing this, I'm seeing my entire day, week, and month all in one. Um, all in one layout and I'm super excited about it and um, I also got let's see if I can show you this um, so this is today um, you can see I've written in a few things here but somebody told me about friction pens I saw these online and I was very curious you remember in the last video I talked that about how I'm not happy with my pens um, these are the ones that I was using I was using these, um, these are Profile, um, and I think these are by, yeah, Papermate, Papermate Profile. And I wasn't a big fan of these because um, they're ballpoint, first of all, and so when I would write with them, um, it, I wasn't getting really good precision. So I was on the hunt for new pens, and somebody online um, mentioned these, Friction. And so I looked these up, and these are gel pens, which I didn't think I would like, but they are erasable. I'm super excited. So let's say that you want to, um, for instance, I have mentioned um, a couple times in my planner now that I want to hang pictures up in my living room. If you decide you don't want to hang pictures in the living room today, instead of crossing it off or using um, tape, you can erase it. Um, one thing I have noticed is that with the pink and the orangish red is that sometimes it leaves behind a little yellow area on my, I don't know if it's my paper or if it's my pens, but I have not noticed that with the cooler colors. Um, it, they come in a pack of blue, uh, I got this, I got two packs, black, blue, and I think it's supposed to be red, but I kind of use it as orange. So, um, and I've noticed that with the black and the blue, it, it doesn't really leave behind a mark when I erase it. But with the orange and the pink, I have noticed that. I also have another pack of blue, purple, and pink. I have June, July, and August in here, and they're separated by the monthly chart. I'm using that to um, hold the entire month together. Um, I just have this in here to mark a page on a project that I'm working on. So... Anyway, I was really excited and I wanted to share this with you. Um, I'm sorry that this isn't the best video. Um, and like I said, you can always look it up on um, YouTube. Uh, like I said, Carrie Harling and a bunch of other people have tons more information on um, DIY fish. But I just want to uh, thank you guys. I have obsessed over your videos and it finally convinced me to make the commitment to buy. And I'm so happy that I did. I've only been using it for about a week and a half now. Um, but honestly, it was worth it and I'm really excited about it. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. And like I said, um, this is using it. A lot of people use it in the Filofax, but this is in the, the ARC planner because you know, I love that so much. And, um, 
as you can tell, it doesn't actually do, you know, it actually, I think, cleans my planner up a little bit because I can see just right there. I don't even have tabs in it right now um, to separate the months because I know that I just have a few in here. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to update you. So there it is. And I hope you guys have an awesome week. Talk to you again later. Bye.